Welcome to Parchment Update, an interview series from the Parchment Community Library to bring your community closer to you. I'm Karen Woodworth, Library Ambassador. We're about a month out from April's solar eclipse. So today, instead of an interview, I'd like to share details with you about library activities surrounding this eclipse. On Monday, April 8th, we're going to see a partial eclipse here in Parchment, while other parts of the country experience a total solar eclipse. You may remember that we were supposed to see a partial eclipse in October, but we got pouring rain instead. You just never know with Michigan weather. We enjoyed watching a live stream of the October eclipse at the library, and we're planning another eclipse watch party. We're going to live stream the total solar eclipse on the main level of the library. And weather permitting, we're going to observe the partial eclipse outside. The moon will start to slide in front of the sun at 1.54 in the afternoon. We'll see the maximum partial eclipse, this time around 96%, at 3.10. The very last bit of the moon will leave the edge of the sun at 4.24 here. However, totality will begin in Texas around 2.40 and even earlier in Mexico around 2.17, so you should be able to see the total solar eclipse on the live stream inside and then come outside in time to see the maximum partial eclipse, if the weather cooperates this time. Because this is a partial eclipse, you'll need to use eclipse glasses to protect your eyes if you want to look up at the sun. Thanks to our participation in the Solar Eclipse Activities for Libraries program, also known as the SEAL program, we have eclipse glasses to give away. We've been giving them to participants in our eclipse programs. We'll have some available on April 8th at the Eclipse Watch Party. And we're having a special eclipse glasses giveaway day on Tuesday, April 2nd. Show your Parchment Community Library card at the main desk and get a pair of eclipse glasses during the hours that the library is open while supplies last. This is good for all types of library cards, including reciprocal cards. The free eclipse glasses are courtesy of the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation's support of the SEAL program. We may have a number of additional eclipse glasses to give away with or without a library card between April 3rd and April 6th. If you don't have eclipse glasses, you can keep your eyes safe by using an indirect viewer. We'll have a few indirect viewers available for use at our eclipse watch party and we're offering you a chance to make your own at our Eclipse Craft Party. This is a drop-in event on Saturday, March 23rd, between 10 o'clock and 11.30 in the morning. Everybody who attends will get a free pair of Eclipse glasses, and we'll have different stations for you to create projects. One type of indirect viewer is the cardboard box pinhole viewer. I'm trying to stockpile boxes for this, but you can also bring your own. To use it, you turn your back to the sun and look through the viewing window to see the sun projected inside. An even more portable indirect viewer uses a cylindrical chip canister. You can see the sun projected inside the bottom of this tube. Again, we'll have some canisters available, but you can also bring your own to use. Just make sure you clean it out ahead of time. You can make a similar viewer using a large cardboard mailing tube, and these can also project the sun onto a white sheet of paper on the ground. You'll want to keep your eclipse glasses safe from scratches, so we'll have a station for you to create a paper envelope especially to hold them. We'll also have an eclipse chalk art station for you to make your own drawing of an eclipse using chalk to draw the sun's corona. And you can create your own color-changing bracelet at our UV bead bracelet station. The white beads will change to yellow and orange in the light of the sun. You can see if the darkness from the eclipse is enough to make them fade. If you'd like to read and discuss a good non-fiction book about eclipses, plan to attend our Parchment Book Group discussion on Monday, March 11th. The book we'll be discussing is Sun, Moon, Earth, The History of Solar Eclipses from Omens of Doom to Einstein and Exoplanets by Tyler Nordgren. Even if you don't have a chance to read the book ahead of time, you might still enjoy hearing more about it at the discussion. Everyone who attends will receive a free pair of eclipse glasses. One more thing, here's how to use the eclipse glasses. You orient your body toward the sun without looking at it. Then you put the glasses over your eyes. If you normally wear glasses, put them over your glasses. Then tilt your head up until you see the sun. And remember to keep your eyes covered until you bring your head back down. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you'll be able to see the eclipse in April, whether you travel to the path of totality or stay here in Michigan. Let's end today with a trailer for the NASA live stream that we plan to show at the library. 
There's a quiet that comes down when the darkness suddenly comes. It was like you could feel the shadow coming over you. The air was so clear that we could just see these streaks moving huge distances across the sky. You feel it in a way that feels so different. The images don't do it justice. And then you're just sort of locked in. When you experience an eclipse, you feel that connection with space. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, oh. Look at the ray structure! The universe is out there and it's affecting us. We are in space. And here it comes, there's the diamond ring. And that is the most spectacular sight. <laughs> If you haven't seen it, you haven't seen anything.